Beshem Hashem Naaseh V'Natziach, Shabbat Shalom. We know this week's parsha is Parashat Shalach. And this week's Jews send 12 of their princes to spy on the land of Israel. And unfortunately they make a horrible and tragic mistake. 10 of them come back from their 40 day mission and they talk evil, disparagingly defamation about the land of Israel. They say the mission is too hard, we can't do it, it's impossible to conquer the land. But there were two defenders of the land of Israel, the prince of the tribe of Yosef, Joshua, Yehoshua, from Ephraim, and Kalev, the prince of Yehuda. They said, Tova ha'aretz me'od me'od. The land of Israel is very, very good. So, we know that Moshe parenthetically changes the name of Joshua. His name was previously Hoshea. Before the mission, Moshe blesses him and says, From now on, I'm going to change your name, Hoshea. And I'm going to change it to what? Yehoshua. Joshua. The question is, why is Moshe Rabbeinu changing his name? So Rashi says, Ya Hoshiachamim Atzad Meraglim. Moshe Rabbeinu smelt that there was something terrible about to happen. So he basically he changed Yahushua's name and said, Ya Hoshiachamim Atzad Meraglim. God should save you from the terrible plan, conspiracy of the other ten spies. And that's why Yehoshua is God's name. Ka. God should save you from their evil conspiracy to talk about, to, to give the Jews, make them depressed so they won't want to move to Israel and conquer the land. The question Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky asks is, we know that Moshe Rabbeinu, through his prophecy, probably knew that there was another tribe, prince, Yeho- Kalev. Kalev didn't, why didn't he bless Kalev also like he blessed Yehoshua? Or why specifically did Yehoshua need a blessing? So he says something so beautiful. And right now it's wedding season. Rav Yaakov Kamenetsky says such a beautiful idea. He says, Kalev is very interesting to know, was Moshe Rabbeinu's brother-in-law. He had, he had, who was he the husband of? Miriam. If you have a righteous wife that's a prophetess like Miriam, that's the greatest blessing. He was sure that because his sister was the wife of Kalev, Kalev wouldn't come back with the evil report. But on the other hand, Yehoshua was a bachelor, was not married at this time. And God forbid when you're not married, you're not a complete person, you're wishy-washy, you're vulnerable, to, you're not autonomous. You, you, you could cave into peer pressure, but your wife is your backbone. So this is a, such a beautiful idea that calling his greatest, he had his greatest blessing in life by having the Eshet Chayil, a wife like Miriam. But on the other hand, Yehoshua, which was single, Moshe Rabbeinu felt that he was very vulnerable to God forbid sinning. So that's why he changed his name. He added the name of God, a Yud, an extra Yud into his name so he wouldn't sin. So from here we learn an amazing, amazing thing. That is that the most important decision we have to make in life and always pray for our children is to have a good spouse. Especially a good wife is a good life. And that's why Moshe was worried about Yahushua, which was not married, but he wasn't concerned about Kalev because she had a great wife. 
Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day.